Hi guys, it's GameBrain here with another Mafia 3 video for you. And in this video I'm going to be showing off the Strummer 223, which is the best gun in Mafia 3. Now, the reason it's called the 223 is because it uses the 223 Remington cartridges. It was first commissioned in 1960 and used by mainly the Air Force, the American Air Force. And, um, and then they replaced the M14 with the M16 in 1963. It's originally called the AR-15, but the American Army renamed it the M16. So now we know a bit of background history about the gun, we can compare it to the other guns in the game and see why it's the best. Now if you see the damage is 40%. That's the highest damage of any of the automatic weapons, yeah? Here we go. Three. The automat SG comes close with 36%, but it's not nearly as good. Neither are any of these. Not nearly. Next up, accuracy. Accuracy, 92%. Look through all these others. None of them are that high. Yeah, the automat's got 83% accuracy. Next up, next we've got rate of fire, 81% rate of fire, it's a pretty fast firing gun, so um, I mean I'd advise you use it in short bursts or you'll be out of ammo, so 81%, that's also one, 81%, it's definitely not the, um, the slowest rate of fire, it's right up there, that has a slightly higher rate of fire, but 9% damage, that doesn't compete at all. 80%. So yeah, there's a few that are close rate of fire wise, but they don't top it with the other stats. Capacity, 60% capacity. That's um, that's not actually full ammo capacity, that's just the clip capacity. So there we go, 60%. I think the only one that beats it is the Trench 38 drum, because obviously it has a drum magazine, but it has pretty bad accuracy and um, really low damage actually really really low damage but it does have a hell of a lot of ammo see down here in, in my bottom left corner it carries 210 bullets the strummer carries 174 so yeah it beats it a little bit there but it's definitely not a better gun and finally we've got stability how good is this gun stability how good is the recoil let's see so it's on 66 percent the silenced one is 69 percent slightly better the uh, Passandra has slightly better stability yeah nothing else anything majorly more yeah, nothing but much better so it pretty much wins with the stats there. It's got much higher stats than pretty much all the other weapons, and uh, also you can in you know you can increase your accuracy here with your upgrades, the ammo, the stability, and the reload speed. So you can bring that all up a lot higher. So now that we've compared it to all the other automatic weapon stats, we're going to take it into combat and see how good it does. We've got a mission right here that we can use it in. Right, automatic. That's a nice piece you got there. Quite a lot of enemies here, so it's going to be a good mission to use it for. Now, obviously, it's an assault weapon; it's not a stealth weapon, so we're uh, going to go in guns blazing. See how good it does. quite a lot of ammo left, it doesn't get through ammo too quickly and uh, it carries a lot. There's some guys in this factory just going there. This warehouse I think. Oh, poor guy. Got like one 
I left here. Yeah, that dealt with them quickly. Oh, one guy up there. Let's see how far away we can shoot him from. Close range and long range is pretty good. Obviously, it's not a sniper, but still, you're going to be able to fire pretty far away with it. How do you get in here? This door? No. Hello. <laughs> what is he wearing? Stop hiding. Bulletproof, you can't shoot through there. Fucking hell. Chainmail, of course you could. Oh, I think you're actually getting through these stairs. So yeah, it's a great assault weapon, as you can see, I didn't get shot once there. And, I mean, if you have a lot of enemies rushing you, like five, six guys just running at you, you're going to be able to take them down really quickly, compared to if you were using a single shot rifle where you would struggle oh, to get them all down before they That's rushed you and carrying. eventually killed you or whatever. So it's just really good in that respect. So now I'm going to show you how you unlock this gun. All you need to do is give three districts to Burke. Now I know a lot of people have been complaining that they've given him three districts and not been given this gun yet. So I'd say what you need to do is this gun's mission in Barclay Mills and then kill Pete Santini. Once you've killed him, you're going to be given the option to either take the shotgun off Cassandra, take the night vision sniper rifle off of Vito, or get the Stromer from Burke. So obviously I chose the Stromer. And that's how you're going to get it guys. So if you found this video helpful, just please leave a like and subscribe if you want more Mafia 3 videos. It's Game Brain.